In the rugged, awe-inspiring landscape of the Grand Canyon, a discovery of monumental significance was made by a geologist named Alan Krill. While navigating the winding trails of the canyon's red cliffs, Alan stumbled upon an object that would reshape our understanding of prehistoric times and the geological history of Arizona. The object, a massive boulder, had tumbled from a nearby cliff face along the Bright Angel Trail following a collapse. Although many hikers had passed by without a second glance, Alan's trained eye recognized that the stone concealed an extraordinary secret dating back over 300 million years. The boulder, which came from an exposed section of the Manakakasha Formation, held fossilized footprints etched into its surface evidence of a time before dinosaurs roamed the earth. Alan quickly snapped photographs of the patterns and sent them to his colleague, Stephen Rowland, a paleontologist at the University of Nevada. This seemingly routine discovery would ignite a scientific journey that culminated in groundbreaking revelations about life in the Carboniferous period. The story began in 2016 when the cliff face near Bright Angel Trail crumbled, dislodging the boulder that would catch Alan's attention. At first glance, the rock's significance was unclear. However, upon closer inspection, Alan identified fossilized trackways embedded in the limestone, a treasure trove of ancient information waiting to be uncovered. Stephen Rowland's analysis of Alan's photographs confirmed the presence of vertebrate footprints, later identified as the oldest fossilized tracks ever found in the Grand Canyon. These footprints were estimated to be 313 million years old, dating back to the Carboniferous period. The discovery, presented at a Society of Vertebrate Paleontology meeting and published in the journal Plos One, revealed details about a creature's movements across sand dunes near an ancient equator. The Manacacha Formation, a geological layer composed of limestone and mudstone, is a significant feature of the Grand Canyon. Formed during the late Carboniferous period, this formation preserves evidence of ancient ecosystems, including the fossilized remains of plants and animals that thrived in a warm, humid climate. The discovery of fossilized trackways in this formation sheds light on the behavior and environment of early terrestrial vertebrates, long before the age of dinosaurs. The Grand Canyon itself, a natural wonder carved by the Colorado River, is a geological marvel. Its formation spans nearly two billion years, beginning with the deposition of igneous and metamorphic rocks, followed by sedimentary layers. The canyon's iconic shape took form around 65 million years ago, when tectonic forces elevated the Colorado Plateau, creating the conditions for the river to carve through the rock layers over millions of years. Today, the Grand Canyon is not only a testament to the power of natural forces, but also a repository of secrets about Earth's distant past. The fossilized tracks found on the Bright Angel Trail belong to a category known as ichnofossils preserved evidence of an organism's activity, such as footprints, burrows, or feeding marks. These tracks provided a rare glimpse into the movements of a shelled, egg-laying creature that lived over 300 million years ago. Remarkably, the creature moved using a lateral sequence gait a walking pattern still used by modern reptiles like iguanas. What made this discovery even more intriguing was the trackway's location. The fossilized footprints suggested that these creatures adapted to life in desert-like conditions, challenging previous assumptions about their dependence on water-rich environments. The preservation of these tracks was a result of the interplay between sand and water, which created perfect conditions for capturing and maintaining the impressions in the rock. Alan Krill's discovery was a catalyst for a series of scientific inquiries. Stephen Rowland and his colleagues meticulously studied the trackways, using advanced dating techniques to confirm their age. This placed the tracks as some of the oldest evidence of vertebrate life in a desert environment, a groundbreaking revelation in paleontology. In addition to its scientific value, the discovery highlighted the importance of the Grand Canyon as a repository of paleontological treasures. The National Park Service, recognizing the canyon's rich history, has invested in building comprehensive databases to catalog fossils and geological features. In 2019, the park announced a significant expansion of its paleontological records, aimed at improving public and scientific understanding of the area. The Grand Canyon's history is a tapestry of geological and biological evolution. Humans first arrived in the region during the last ice age, approximately 12,000 years ago. The area became a designated forest reserve under President Benjamin Harrison 
in the late 19th century and was officially named a national park in 1919. Today, it attracts millions of visitors annually, drawn by its breathtaking vistas and the stories etched into its rocks. The canyon structure continues to evolve as the Colorado River carves deeper into its plateau. This ongoing erosion may eventually reveal new geological and paleontological secrets, offering fresh insights into the Earth's history. However, it also poses a challenge to scientists racing against time to study and docky and to canyon's features before they are lost. Alan Krill's find is not the only significant discovery in the Grand Canyon. In 2019, paleontologists uncovered a set of fossilized footprints in a remote area of the canyon, believed to belong to a four-legged creature that lived 280 million years ago. These fossils provided critical information about the Paleozoic era, including insights into the biology and behavior of early tetrapods. The Grand Canyon continues to serve as a living laboratory for geologists and paleontologists. Its layers of rock offer a chronological record of Earth's history, while its fossils provide glimpses into life forms that once roamed the planet, from ancient sea creatures to early reptiles. The canyon's treasures are as diverse as they are significant. Alan Krill's discovery along the Bright Angel Trail underscores the value of curiosity and expertise in unlocking the secrets of the past. Without his knowledge and keen observation, the fossilized trackways might have gone unnoticed, eroding into obscurity. Instead, his find has deepened our understanding of prehistoric life and the conditions that shaped it. The Grand Canyon, a place of timeless beauty and scientific intrigue, remains a beacon for discovery. As researchers continue to explore its depths, who knows what other secrets might emerge from its ancient rocks. One thing is certain the Grand Canyon will continue to inspire awe and wonder for generations to come.